Hello, this is Ashwin Kumar Verma, and uh, I am going to present my first capstone project uh, on hotel booking analysis. Basically, it's a team project, but I made it individually. So let's start. This is me, and uh, this is something about me. And uh, most of the time, I use these uh, three platforms. Let's see the exam. Let's see the questions. So, uh, I I use this uh, animation to show that uh, if a person got eighty percent of a discount in the hotel booking, it got very happy. Now let's see the problem statement. For this project, we will analyzing the data and as data book hotel booking data. This data sets the contains the booking information for a city hotel and a resort hotel and includes the information such as when the booking was made, length of the stay, the number of adults, student, children, book babies, and the number of available parking space. Hotel industry is a type is a very volatile industry, and the booking depends on the above factors and many more. The main objective behind this project to explore the and analyze the discovers of important factors that governs the booking and give the insights to the hotel management which can perform the various campaigns to boost the business and performance. Let's see the work, uh, workflow. So we divide our workflow into three following steps, data collection and understanding, data cleaning and manipulation, exploratory data analysis, which is ED. In data collection and understanding, uh, we got the data and we, uh, we are going to analyze it, what uh, the data wants to say. In data cleaning and manipulation, uh, in this uh, uh, in this uh, segments we can uh, we can uh, we manage the data and uh, extract uh, the valuable information and uh, clean it in eda through eda we uh, we made uh, an we made a pie chart and other certain type of a graph to extract the data and and, and easily understand let's see the eda will be divided into three following three analysis the first is univariate analysis it is the simplest of the three uh, analysis where the data you are analyzing is only one variable bivariate analysis it is very uh, it is where you are comparing with the variables to study their relationship the multivariate multivariate analysis it is similar to the bivariate analysis, but you are comparing the more than two variables. Let's see the what our CSV file contains. After collecting data, it's important to understand your data. So we had the hotel booking analysis data, which had 11,9393 rows and 32 columns. So let's understand this 32 columns. It means uh, we have 11,9393. 9390 rows and 32 columns which which can explain the data of uh, any hotels in city and resort let's see the col 32 columns the hotel uh, hotel is uh, hotel means hotel uh, either a resort hotel or a city hotel is cancelled the value includes if the booking was cancelled is one and or not is zero. Lead time, number of days that elapsed between the entering date of the booking into the PMS and the arrival dates. Arrival dates, year, year of arrival date, arrival date month, uh, month of arrival date, arrival date, week number, week number of years for arrival date, arrival date, uh, day, of months day of arrival dates stays in the weekend nights number of a weekend nights stay in the weekend nights stays in the week nights number of week nights the guests stay to uh, stay or book to stay at the hotel so uh, now uh, now see the uh, Adults, number of adults, children, number of children, babies, number of babies, meals, type of meals booked, categories are presented in the standard hospitality, meal package, meal package, 
country country of origin market segments market segment des designations uh, in categories the terms ta means travel agents agents and the to means the tour operator distribution channels booking and, and distribution channels in the term ta means the travel agents agents and the to means tour uh, agreement tour operator is repeated guest value in uh, indicating the it if the booking name was from a reputed guest or not uh, previous cancel cancellation the number of a previous booking that were cancelled by the customer prior to the current booking changes the number of a changes made by the made to the booking from the moment of moment the booking was entered in the PMS con, uh, UT until the moment of check in and can, in or cancellation. Deposit type indication indication on if the customer makes a deposit to to guarantee the booking. Agent ID of the travel agency that makes the booking. Company ID of the company that makes the booking or responsible for paying the um, booking. Days in waiting list. Number of days the booking was in the wait, no, waiting. If uh, waiting list before it was uh, confirmed to the customer. The customer type type of as uh, assuming one of four categories: ADR, uh, average data rate, average daily rate, as defined by the dividing the sum of all the lodging transaction by the total number of staying nights requires car parking space the number of a car parking space requires by the customer previous uh, booking not cancelled the number of a previous booking not cancelled by the customer prior to the current uh, reserved room type code of a room type reserve code is presented uh, instead of a designations for uh, anatomy and almighty reasons assigned room type code for the type of a room assigned uh, to the booking required car parking space number of a car parking space required by the customer total of a special request number of a special request made by the customer let's analyze the data clean cleaning and manipulation which is the first let's see the uh, unique value of of a CSP file. It, uh, the unique value of a hotel is a resort or a city. Uh, the arrival uh, arrival date uh, years unique value is 2015, 16 and 17. It means only the 2015, 16 and 17 we are extracting the data. Is cancelled 0 or 1. Meal BB, FB, HB, SC or undefined. The arrival date year. Uh, arrival date year is 2015, 16, and 17. And uh, distribution channel direct, corporate, TATO, or undefined. And JDS. The total uh, duplicate uh, total duplicate is 31,994. And the row uh, column is 32. Shape of the uh, data is 11 lakh 9390 and 32 columns. To, uh, company 11 lakh 2593. Agent 16,340. Current country there are 488 country children type. Let's correlation mat let's see the correlation matrix. Total is still in and the lead time have slight correlations. This may means that for the longer uh, hotel stay, people generally plan little before the actual arrival. ADR is slightly corrected, correlated with the total people, which makes sense as more number of a people's means more revenue, therefore more ADR. Let's see does the length of the stay affects the idea. The conclusion through this uh, graph is 
lead time and the total stay is positively correlated means more is the stay of the customer, more will be the lead time. ADR, average deal, average daily rate. And the total people are highly uh, correlated. That means the more the people, more will be the ADR. High ADR means the high revenue. Let's uh, let's see the ADR and the total stay. Uh, through this graph, uh, we can conclude that uh, the all the value, maximum number of a value lies between zero to one thousand. And so let's see the figure number two. Figure number two contains the zoom image of figure number one, which is uh, as we can see that uh, from the graph is uh, the value the value lies between the uh, under the five hundred. Now, from the figure number one, we can conclude uh, it is the agent and the number of booking graph. And we can see that uh, the agent number nine has the maximum number of uh, booking and the agent number 28, 8 and 241 has the lowest number of booking. From the figure number two, we can see, uh, see that uh, uh, it is a graph of a hotel and percent of booking. So we can, uh, through this graph, we can conclude that the city hotel has uh, maximum number of booking which is approximately 60% and uh, the resort hotels contains the 30% uh, booking. So uh, in this, uh, uh, through this graph, we can, uh, we can see that the assigned room type and the count. So uh, we can see that uh, through this graph uh, that uh, room number type A, type D, and type E has the more value than C, G, F, I, B, H, L, and K room. In, in this graph, uh, type A room has the maximum value. So it means uh, it's a very luxurious room. Either it's a luxurious room or uh, it's a very clean room. So let's see this data. This graph contains eight meals and the count. So through this graph, we can say that uh, meal number B, B, HB, and SC has the higher than FB and undefined. Through this graph, uh, BB is the most preferred type of a meal by the guest. BB stands for bed and breakfast and uh, full bo uh, full board fb is least preferred hb and se are equally preferred we can say that now let's see the second graph which contains the total stay and count so we can say that uh, through this graph is most of the people stay in the city hotel under 6 days or seven days. Apart from this, the graph is very low, so we can conclude that the uh, most of the people stay seven days approximately. In the, in this graph, we can see that the most of the people are stay in the city hotels, like which is the orange one, and the resort hotels are very less as compared to orange graph. Uh, in day number seven, the resort hotels are, is the higher than the city hotels. Next. Then uh, through, uh, through, uh, this is the graph of distribution channel and uh, medium late time. So we can, can, we can see that uh, through this graph is uh, TA and TO has the maximum value, which is 80 and the uh, other has uh, other has the lower uh, the lowest value is undefined and uh, TATO is the most usually planning hotels visit ahead of time but uh, for the certain visit uh, the medium are most preferred exploratory data analysis number 
this is the graph of distribution channel and average waiting time. So we can see that uh, through this graph is uh, the average waiting time of a TA and TO is maximum and uh, the undefined and GDS has the lowest number of average waiting time. So uh, now let's see the next graph. Through this graph, we can con uh, this is con this graph concludes the distribution channel and the average ADR. So we can see that uh, GDS channel booking, GDS channel bring the higher revenue generation, generating the deals for city uh, hotels in con contract to that most booking comes via TA and TO. City hotels can work to increase the outreach on GDS channel to get the more the higher revenue generating deals. Now in the figure number one, the graph contains the hotel and the average area. So through this graph, we also see, we also can see that uh, city hotel has the maximum number than resort hotels. From figure number two, which is the distribution channel and the cancel percent. So we can see that the TATU has the maximum number of a cancellation percent, which is approximately 40%. And the lowest is uh, direct cancellation, which is approximately 15 to uh, under 50 to 15 to 20. Now, from this graph, we can see that uh, the most of the booking that are cancelled have a waiting prior period for of less than 150 days. But all, also most of the booking that uh, are not cancelled also have waiting periods less than 150 days. Hence, this shows that the waiting periods has no effects on the cancellation of booking. Also, late time has no effects on cancellation of a booking as both the curves of cancellation and not uh, cancel are Simple, simple, simpler, similar for lead time too. Now, from figure number one, it is uh, it is uh, concludes that the data of uh, is cancelled and uh, some room not allowed percentage. So through this, uh, we can conclude that the uh, getting some room as demanded is not the case of a cancellation of a rooms a significant percentage of a booking are not cancelled even after getting the different room as demanded this data is very interesting we can uh, this uh, this graph contains the month and the number of a guest so we can through this graph we can all see that clearly see that uh, the in the august uh, there are maximum number of bookings uh, which is uh, in both resort and hotel so uh, through this graph you can roughly uh, um, say that uh, the i am um, in august month uh, the employee gets the more the salary or bonus on the, with the holiday so they they came to resort to make it make their holiday. Now through this, uh, let's see the first uh, graph, uh, which is the total nights and the number of stays. So we can see that uh, the total number of stays and uh, total number of night stays is maximum in the city hotel until uh, five days. Then after resort, uh, overflowed the next one is the countries and the count so we through this graph we can see that uh, from the country ptr the highest count value and uh, bel bra and nld has the lowest value we can see that uh, the graph arrivals num has the small peaks at a regular interval of a days this can be due to increase in the arrival weekends 
Also, the average ADR tends to go up as a month end. Therefore, they change change more, the, more at the end of the month. So that concludes my whole project. And uh, finally, um, I want to say uh, thanks to Alma Better that uh, gives me the opportunity to make this pr uh, presentation. And it includes a lot of uh, learning to me. Thank you.